it was a blessed day when through these hallowed gates a stranger rode and delivered unto them a miracle. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. I am Christy, this is Alonzo, this is Matt. So which of us is Curly, which is Mo, and which is Larry? <laughs> I don't know, who do, who do you guys want to be? <laughs> Wait, we came with our own uh, our own sound effects here, our own eye gouging, finger popping sound effects here. We're talking about the Three Stooges. The Fairley Brothers made a full length movie of the Three Stooges. Yes. Why? Uh, it's something they've wanted to do for a long time. Apparently, I remember <laughs> at one point, like Sean Penn and Benicio del Toro were going to be and Jim Carrey and, and Jim Carrey. Uh, and uh, those gentlemen are not in this movie, <laughs> but uh, they got three guys who very accurately mimic the classic, you know, original Three Stooges. No. Curly Joe or Shemp going on here. <laughs> and it's basically their misadventures from uh, landing at an orphanage as babies to trying to save the orphanage Blues Brothers style mm -hmm. as adults uh, and getting into one messy slapstick filled scrape after another. Take a look. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 hey guys. Yeah. Oh, hi, your sister Bernice. There's something different about you. Did you get a haircut? Mind your P's and Q's. Don't forget to dot the eyes. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to admit, I am not a huge Three Stooges fan. I clearly remember the shorts from childhood, but I didn't go into this going, ah, num num num, Three Stooges <laughs> movie. Were you guys psyched for this going in? Uh, I was more of a Marx Brothers fan okay. than the Stooges fan, mm -hmm. but I, I always kind of enjoyed them. Uh, I, I did think that a uh, feature length Stooges movie would be a bit much. Uh, mm. based, you know, and based on the last couple of Farrelly Brothers movies, I, I wasn't really expecting much. Hot Pass was movie. horrible. Yeah, well, let's not forget the Stooges did make features of their own mm -hmm. back in, you know, right. like mm -hmm. In Outer Space and mm -hmm. uh, Snow White and the Three Stooges or something like mm -hmm. that. I forget. Anyway, so it's not unprecedented. But yeah, I, I think this was one of those things where people thought, okay, if you like the Stooges, you don't want to see three other people pretend to be them. And if you don't like the Stooges, why would you want right. to see? this for 90 whatever minutes. That's kind of how I feel about it though. Who is this for? Yeah, well, I think people, a, a lot of people, uh, so at the press screening I know there was a, going in there was a general sense of ugh. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is that after the press screening, <laughs> a lot of us liked it. It was funnier <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. I did laugh more than I thought I was going to. I laughed pretty much nonstop. You did. I, sitting, I, 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 I can attest right. to this. Right. Right. Alonzo laughed the entire time. I was, <laughs> I was, you know, I know we all talk about, oh, you know, we go into these movies, you know, tabula rasa, not prejudging. Blah, blah. We nobody, tried. Nobody wanted to see a Three Stooges movie, not with, you know, the guy from Mad TV and, and Sean Hayes. <laughs> but uh, holy crap, I laughed the whole time. Did you really laugh the whole time? So, so what, what you was funny? Did you hear him? I know oh I did. He was giggling like a little no, school. No, I, I, I just, I, I don't know anything anymore. Because the, <laughs> the Three Stooges movie, movie was funny. I, I, you know, my, my whole worldview is blown. I don't even know, I, I can't, I don't even know if I can defend it, but I, I, I was going to say, sell it. What's I, funny about I, it? It's <laughs> funny. I mean, like, it, the, the, okay, the, at the very beginning of the movie, you've got the orphanage and you've got these, these adorable little urchins, you know, playing kick the can or whatever, and they get yelled at by a nun played by Larry David. It is named, funny. Uh, named named Sus Sister Mary Mengele. <laughs> and, <laughs> And the kids, you know, trying to convince the nuns to let them play a little bit longer, suddenly burst into this adorable musical number. And they get about three lines in, and the nun's like, shut up! <laughs> and I thought, okay, well, that's where we're going. And then the Stooges show up at the orphanage when they are literally thrown onto mm -hmm. the front steps mm -hmm. in a duffel bag mm -hmm. as babies. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, well, this, all right, let's... Let's see where this goes. And but they look like the Three Stooges th yes, already. Yes, they, they, they already look like the, the bowl cut and the crazy hair and the. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it just goes from there, and they they just make this work. And I didn't even like the old Stooges movies. Like I, you know, when I was a kid on TV, we had Laurel and Hardy, The Little Rascals, mm -hmm. and The Three Stooges. And The Stooges were always my least favorite. And I laughed at this movie. Yeah. I don't know what to say. We had an okay time, huh? <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, you know, you do. I, I feel like you do kind of have to have a certain amount of affection. For the Stooges to really dig this, no. to really like enjoy, or be it. a ten-year-old no, boy, I, you know. <laughs> well, that, yeah. well that I'll, helps I'll put too, it this I way: think. you have to be able to leave your 
expectations at the door mm -hmm. to get anything out of this. Uh, I, you know, I feel like it is a pretty good Farrelly Brothers movie. You know, it made me think of Dumb and Dumber at some points. You know, I thought of Kingpin also. Uh, and mm -hmm. Kingpin, With, with, right? with like, the naive person going out into the big, wide, scary world. Right. You know, yeah. there's, a, there's a sweetness to what the Farrelly Brothers can do with characters like this. And I, I thought it most, you know, I thought it's got some really good laughs. Uh, you know, I thought that the guys playing the Stooges were great. Mm -hmm. In fact, I thought Sean Hayes as Larry almost took me out of the movie because he was so yeah. much like Larry Fine that I had these moments I thought, wait a minute, Larry Fine is dead. <laughs> and, and, you do forget you you're watching Sean Hayes. Right, you kind of do forget. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and for the most part, you kind of at times forget you're watching the other guys playing Mo and Curly. Mm -hmm. You know, they're really good performances. Um, this is the first movie since Blazing Saddles that I think legitimately earns a funny fart joke. It is relevant uh, it's it, in, from it, a, it, a plot perspective. Right? Yes. It, it actually works, relevant. and it's hilarious. I think that you know, the slapstick, for the most part, really works really well. Uh, and then they start throwing things in that make the Stooges live in a modern world. And, and watching 15, 20 minutes of Mo beat up on the cast of Jersey Shore <laughs> is worth the price alone. See, okay. yeah. I don't think that that felt like a stretch to me. That felt like too easy of a joke. There's a Kardashian joke that's too easy. I, see, I, oh, I thought that joke I, was great. <laughs> on, on, the paper, on paper, like I knew about the Jersey Shore thing, which mm. was another reason I thought, Ugh, right. you know. But all that stuff is funny because you want to hit those guys in the head too, yeah. you know. And and the, uh, the, 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 the sad orphans, like all these things in the movie that you would think would kill it, don't somehow like there's this right. magical chemistry to the whole thing. I think this is the best thing the Fairley brothers have done since there's something about Mary. I, I don't think there's any great big surprises, but I think where this movie succeeds is in the execution. I think that it executes the tired gags, the things that are absolutely expected. It executes them so well that you don't mind it. You know, yeah. so like the line about the Kardashians, right? When one character says, "Oh, there's there's three idiots here," and mm -hmm. somebody says, "You invited the Kardashians?" <laughs> like, yeah, okay, that's a gimme of a joke, right? And you think that could show up. That's that's easy writing, but it works. It, and, and there's a lot of things I think. You know, the the salmon. The, the, the salmon, salmon farm, farm that's right? funny. Like that, that's I thought that was idea. hilarious. It was much more hit and miss for me. It, it didn't work for me nearly as frequently as it did for you guys. And it's not because I'm a girl. <laughs> it's not because I, nothing offends me. I wasn't offended by it. No, I just thought and, a lot and, of it was and, lame and, and strange. And, and two female film critics, other film critics besides you that I talked to afterwards loved it. So, yeah. you know, I, I think what th this... When, when people set out to make a Three Stooges movie, there's the movie that they think they're going to make, and there's the movie that we fear is going to wind up <laughs> being. And they made the movie they wanted right. to make. Like, this thing actually works. It actually flies. Right. And, there's clear, and there's I, I was going to say, I live in a house divided where my partner is a huge Stooges fan, and he loved it, too. Yeah, there's clearly a, a deep love and a deep respect for what the Stooges had done from the filmmakers, from the Farrelly's. And it really shows here, and I think that they... They did this loving homage that captures the zaniness. I mean, is, is that, you know, as film critic -y as that sounds for me. <laughs> you know, the, it, these guys clearly love the Stooges, and they managed to make something that I think holds up to the Stooges' original material. I would say this would more likely make people want to go back and revisit the original material just to mm -hmm. see how influential is, it clearly is now, which is fine. If that's, if that's the net result, then great. But I think that's preferable to actually sitting through this new contemporized. Did you did you did you like the idea of Sofia Vergara as visual sight gag? Because I thought that I'm was pretty I'm just sick great. of that. I, I think she's adorable. I love that she can laugh at herself. But I would like to see her play a part where she's not like the saucy femme fatale. Where she's not Charo. But yeah, the femme is something. <laughs> I mean, she's gorgeous and she she can she can joke. I like that about her. But I want to know what else she can do. Right. But I'll tell you. Here's the thing. Like in Smurfs, for instance, you know. <laughs> we're, we're, we're evoking Smurfs. We're going to evoke Smurfs now. <laughs> you know, she is just kind of this sort of cartoony like villainous you know thing mm -hmm. and here she's also the villain but like the fact like when like somebody steps on her boobs and when you get a honking sound <laughs> it's like okay yes Sophia Vergara is a visual joke and she knows <laughs> it she dresses right. like one so it's like let's take it all the way and make her the Margaret Dumont of this movie you know all right we should do numbers um we've given this way more thought than anyone should ever <laughs> um Matt Hatchity what's your number I, 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 you know it, it's got its problems I thought it was all right I give it a six I you know kind of a grudging oh god you actually should go see this Eight. Alonzo's going big. Alonzo's going big on this. Constantly. I'm giving it a 4.7. That's Boo. 18. I know. I hate laughter and fun. <laughs> um, uh, that's an 18.7 total for us, a 6.2 average. It is way lower than that in the tomato world. Right now. <laughs> but there's only a few reviews in so far. I actually right. think it's going to go up. Yeah, it's like it's 44. only about 40%. But yeah, that's well, only I haven't put mine up yet. It is, going up, it is going up steadily. So uh, there you go. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Bye-bye.